Where are you
give away at 12, from 12 to 3. Weekly Bible study at 7 p.m. Saturday, there will be a free food bank giveaway from 11 o'clock to 2 p.m. Please save the dates of our vacation Bible school for all ages, June 12th through the 16th. And ladies and gentlemen, save the day. Our family and friends weekend will be June 23rd yeah. to June 25th. Yeah. T-shirt orders, parade registration, and vendors forms will be distributed beginning next Sunday. Please spread the word. Amen. Several Amen. people are already inquiring about our Pine Hill Parade. We want to make this an epic event. Because Jesus will be in the midst. This is from Julia Boone. She is running for Miss Sophomore at Timberland High School. She is asking that you please give at least a $10 or more donation for her patrons list. This money will be used toward, will be put towards the pageant's expenses. The girl who raises the most money will also be crowned Miss Sponsor. Sponsor. We want to help Miss Jaleel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cummins Memorial Theological Seminary. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Jesus Christ. The Alumni Association of Cummins Memorial Theological Seminary is sponsoring its annual scholarship banquet. The banquet will be held on Friday, May 12th at Trinity Anglican Church, 1915 Pineapolis Road, Pineapolis, South Carolina. This year's theme is Strengthening and Preparing Disciples for the Future. The event begins at 7 p.m. and a silent auction starts at 6.30. You are encouraged to arrive early to bid on unique items. We're also soliciting your support. We request that each church purchase a table for $480, which seats eight people, and individual tickets are $65 each. Please, uh, we, they do accept PayPal, debit card, and credit cards through their website. And I have that information if anyone would like to uh, purchase a ticket. Also, if you want to pay by check, Please make checks payable to Cummins Memorial Theological Seminary to help make this banquet an enormous success. We appreciate your cooperation. And if you have any questions, please contact Martha P. Dixon at 843-873-3451. There will be a hiring event at the South Carolina Works Charleston in North Charleston, and they're looking for deputy. Deputies, you must be 25 and older, valid driver's license, high school diploma, or GED, no criminal convictions, 49,000 to 68,000 annual um, price um, salary range. They're also looking for detention deputies, must be at least 18 or older, valid driver's license, high school diploma, or GED, no criminal convictions, Salary range forty six thousand to sixty five sixty five thousand plus comprehensive comprehensive benefit packages. For more information, this will be placed on the um, bulletin board outside. Also, Carolina Youth Development, we're hiring Thursday, April twenty seventh, from ten a.m. to twelve p.m. South Carolina Works. Um, 1930 Hanahan Road, Suite 200 North Charleston. Come prepare for an interview. And this information will also be on the board. There are jobs. We just have to keep them posted. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your service. Enjoy your week. And God bless all of you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, one more announcement. Happy birthday. Coach Stewart.
his most holy life, through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 touches the lives of, and hearts of the people. Be a positive light to others and put a smile on their faces. For the end, it's not what you say that matters. It's how you make them feel loving, stay in good memory, good memory. Remember, always remember to be nice, kind, and positive because you don't know what other people are going through and struggling. Let's all remember one nice word that somebody could change the rest of their day, yeah. week, or life. Thank you. Let us all stand for us for us election. The Lord is my life. The Lord.
was an immortal journey. Yeah, well. These two, these two men who were sad and lonely mm -hmm. on the road to Emmaus, on this day, on this day, yeah. the day is important. Yeah. It was the same day that the woman discovered the empty tomb yeah. and reported it to the disciple. Yes. The resurrection day, yes. which we call Easter Sunday. Uh -huh. The news had been received with skepticism as other announcements. Mm -hmm. These two, Cleopas and his companion, had either been present or else had heard the news from some other source on their way to Emmaus. They were sad, gripped by a spirit of despair over the Lord's crucified, their hope that Jesus was the promised Messiah had been devastated, dashed against the rock of death. Right. But in their despair, well. their thoughts were rushing, wildly about, entangled, wondering about the report of the woman concerning the empty tools and the angel. Yes. What did it mean? The point to note is that emotion and thought there, sadness and despair over the Lord's death, well, yes, yes. devastated hope. He is not the Messiah. Jesus. Rushing and entangled thought over the report of an empty tomb and angel. Another exact word of Cleopas and his companion. Walking along that lonely road back to Emmaus, while they commune and gather and reasoning, Jesus himself appeared to them. Jesus just came into them. They even didn't know who he was. As they were discussing the incident that happened on this great day, and it was a great day, that Easter Sunday, which is be called the Resurrection Sunday. They were talking about what happened. They thought that their master, their leader, would come to Revive me, revive them from the Romans. Yes. And as they went, they said they couldn't figure out what was going on. Mm -hmm. They said one to another, what has happened to our leader? I can imagine they said the religious leaders and the Roman had the Roman killed our master. Yes. Well. They just kept on going on that lonely the highway back to Emmaus. And the idea is that they were absorbed in their, des in their despair and thought that Jesus was already walking along with them when they noticed him, but they did not know him. I tell you, that's the way we are, church. Sometimes we are walking that lonely highway, but all of a sudden there's somebody just calling this conversation, walking. We don't know who they are, but these men was talking about the greatest prophet there ever was. These men were talking about the greatest healer there ever was. These two men were talking about the miracle worker that Jesus was. These men was talking about Jesus who hung on the cross. Oh, I can imagine this is 
sudden, this stranger just joined in. Their eye was blind to who Jesus was. You see, Jesus said, well, I'm not going to tell them who I am. Because he wanted to hear them discuss the situation about him. As they travel that way, they talk about this, they talk about that. But all of a sudden, as they walk down that lonely highway, they got almost to the Emmaus where they were going. They looked and they talked to Jesus. It was getting late in the afternoon. But I tell you, church, I want you to notice when you have Jesus in your heart, they don't know it. They were walking this walk, but when they got to their destination, yes. Jesus made like he was going to continue. Yes. But they said to Jesus, it is late in the afternoon. Yes. It is late now. Yes. Why don't you come and spend the night with us? Yes. They gave Jesus an invitation, yes. and he took it. Yes. And he took it. Right. And I can imagine as they went inside, the two men started to prepare food. Yes. And as they get ready to feast, they asked Jesus to bless the food. Yes, I tell you, when Jesus started blessing the food, all of a sudden, their eyes opened wide. Yes. And they recognized what you Jesus was. Yes. They recognized that this is the one that we were talking about. This is the man who were in Jerusalem just a little while ago. This man, this is the man who healed the sick. This is the one who raised the dead. This is the one that walked in the water. This is the one who took water in the mind. This is our beloved. Yes, and they believe. But nothing happened. Tell Jesus, Jesus, bless the food and broke it, yes. and give it to them. Lord. These men were tired and weary yes. for that two-hour walk. Lord. But I tell you, when you got Jesus in your hand and your heart, yes. there's no limit to what you can do. Yes. Yes. And as they took bread, well, well. and Jesus blessed it and broke it, yes. he gave it to them. The eyes open. Yes. And all of a sudden they realize that this is Jesus. Yes. Now remember now it's late at night. It is. It's late now. Yes. They encourage Jesus to stop and stay with them until the morning. Ah, yes. But I look what they did. <laughs> After Jesus broke the bread and they realized Jesus just come out yes. of their sight. Yes. And they didn't stay there and talk about it. They got up and then went back to Jerusalem yes. to find out the disciple. And when they find him, they will find him more talking. They said, fellows, we have found the Messiah. He's alive and well, just as the woman said. He's alive. We have spoken to him. Jesus is risen. Amen. And he's risen indeed. Yes. Yes. I see that's the way Jesus is. I tell you, church, keep your eyes on Jesus. Yes. Yes. Keep Jesus in your heart. Yes. And while you do that, everything is going to be all right. Yes. Just keep Jesus yes. in your heart. Yes. Yes. But I tell you, these men didn't just sit in a mess. They went back. Yes. And they tell the disciples the good news. Yes, Lord. And all of a sudden, as they were talking, Jesus popped right through the window where they are. And he said, Peace. Peace be still. Peace be unto you. It is I. Yes, Lord. Church. Let's go now, Jesus. Yes. And they should know yes, Lord. what was going to happen. Yes. Because Jesus told them on many occasions right. what's going to happen to him. Right, and don't doubt. Uh, don't just believe. That Jesus is the risen Christ. Yes. Yes. That Jesus came to die yes. for the sin and for the sin of the whole world. Yes. 
We got for your sin, yes. my sin, and everybody's sin. The woman's gonna have to trust them. But that's gonna be high noon. Let us get up and go and tell others. Although it happened over 2,000 years ago. Say, yes, my Savior was risen from the dead. Yeah. He's alive in you have. Yeah. And he's ready for living. Yeah. He's ready for living. Yeah. For that day, they put him on the cross. Uh -huh. They hung him wide. Yeah. But I tell you, they put him in a borrowed tomb. Yeah. And the tomb for no. Oh, right. Because Jesus, yeah. Jesus was God. Yeah. Jesus couldn't do anything that he wanted to do. Jesus got up out of that tomb yeah. and he went and he ministered unto those who didn't hear the gospel. Right. It was Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Yes. And who we are going to worship yeah. Yeah. is nobody but Jesus. Yeah. The disciple dealt those women ah, yes. when he told Mary Magdalene to go and tell them that I am allowed to meet me in yes. Galilee. They didn't believe it. Ah, yes. But I tell you, sometimes you're going to have to listen, church. Yes, right. You're going to have to listen to what the scripture said. Yes. See, these men didn't believe because Jesus told them. Jesus explained the scripture to them yes. as they walked on their way yes. to Jerusalem. And as they were getting ready, one to another they said, Didn't our heart burn? Burn with joy, yes. with love, joy. with peace. Yes. Yes. Jesus is alive yes. and well. Yes. He's at the Father, yes. and the right hand of the Father, yes. just being there for you and I. Yes. He didn't stop his work. Oh, he just begun. Believe in Jesus. There's no other way but through Jesus. Yes. And church, if we study the word of God, uh, yes. God's word, word will cause our heart burn. to burn. Yes. If it's not burned as something, if it, your heart don't burn within you when you study the word, something yes. is wrong. Yes. Let your heart burn. Yes. But let it burn for the word of God. Yes. Let it burn for love yes. for each other. Let it burn yes, yes. to help others, yes. to tell others that we don't serve a dead Christ, yes. we serve a risen Christ. Yes. We don't serve a stationary Christ, yes. we serve a Christ that can move around. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Let our heart burn. Yes. Yes. Church, yes. we're going to have to get, get up and go yes. Yes. and just tell others, be a witness. That Jesus is risen. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yes. He is alive, alive and well. Yes. He's risen from the dead. Yes. He got up out of that old tomb. He just got everything right where it was. Yes. And he just got up because the scripture taught us that what that was prophesied back in the Lord. That Jesus would get up and three days, yeah. tear this building down. And in three days, I will raise it up again. Yeah. Yeah. In three days, he raised it up. Not for himself, but for you and I. All right. Our hearts should be burning. Amen. Yes. Burning with joy. Amen. And with peace. Yes. Because our Savior lives, yes. we can see tomorrow. Because our Savior lives. Well, we can go out there boldly and tell others right. the good news. Yes. Didn't our heart break yes. with joy, peace, love, yes. understanding? Yes. Yes. Church is joy. Well, what a joy yes. to be working for the mass. Yes. Yes. And I can imagine these 11 men. And those others who were there, when Jesus talked them and told them, Peace be still. Oh, what a joy Amen. that was. See, that's the way Jesus is in our hearts. We bring joy. Yes. 
to us. And our heart should burn with that joy. And I still love that song, what he said. I try to repeat it in Sunday school this morning. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. Her of them didn't have to correct me on that. But that's all right. Because I know I had the joy of Jesus in my heart. Didn't your heart burn? Yes. yes. Not for me. Not for your enemies. But it burned for the word That's right. of God. Amen. Amen. When that happened, those who believe, our, we will go out and tell our enemy, you cannot touch me. <laughs> because I was burned by the love of Christ. Yes. Yes. The door of the church is open. If there's one person here who don't know this Christ, and as the choir is saying, firstly, if you didn't accept him yet, I'm asking you to come on this great day, the first day of the week, and accept Christ as your Savior. He's given you the invitation now to yeah, yeah. come and come just as you are. Come and accept him. The church, when you accept him, there's nothing can hurt you. Because you always can go back to Jesus and tell him, Lord, I accept you, I believe and trust in you. Lord, I want you to be my Savior. I want you to be my shepherd. I want you to be everything to me. Is that what? The ones like to come and give them life to